Uh, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use one project as a library in another project. So let me first uh, remove that library, that what are the library which I've added. I'll click on apply and okay. Now I've been calling something called calculator.add, which is present in my app, which I earlier delivered as a library, which I copied into this folder. Uh, when I have two projects and one project will work as a library and another, another project will make use of that, then actually no need to go to the adults of what creating a jar again, coming back here and copying it and adding it to build path. What I can do, I can right click on my project, go to properties. You see, because I removed that library, I'm getting this error. Now instead of adding it as a jar file, what I'll do, I'll go to projects and I'll click on add and I'll choose my app and okay, apply. And okay, see that error is gone. So if I go ahead and make some changes, say, here in the calculator, if I call calculator dot, so I have add method and easy one. Suppose if I go to my app in this calculator, let's say I will add one more method called public. So I'm not going to add anything to it. I just want to illustrate the uh, advantage of using an one project as an library in another project dot. You see that do something is available to me to access here. So we get the point. So that is the whole point of using one project as a library in another project. Say one developer is working on this project, he'll continue developing and I'll use his uh, features, his API in my project, but I want to continuously update myself also. Then in a uh, Git, uh, in future you're going to, in a separate course, you are going to study about Git. Uh, there you would understand how we can work as a team with uh, working on multiple projects. So this is a one another way to what? divide the projects into modules and individual uh, developers can pick up the different different modules of a project and work on those module as if they are independent projects altogether. Generally when you have a project which has modular architecture then we would go ahead and work this way. Mm -hmm.